Okay, start by grabbing the fasteners and pop them through the holes in the middle of the bore, like so. Then take the small black wheels and attach it to one side of the motor's axle. Make sure when you're doing this that you don't attach the wheels to the same side on both motors since they'll need to be opposite each other because they both need to face toward the center of the board. Next we'll attach the other fastener. So there should be a small notch on the side of the car body. Put the fastener in that notch and hold it in place. Grab a long screw, slide it through the hole at the top of the fastener. It should go through both fasteners and the motor body. And then grab one of the nuts and attach it on the other side. Then take another long screw and put it through the hole in the bottom of the fastener should go through both fasteners and the motor yet again and take another nut and attach it on the other side. Now you can tighten up both screws and then repeat that entire process on the other side of the car. Now that we're done with the motor wheels, we can move on to the caster wheel. So this is where you'll use the standoffs and the smaller screws. There should be four holes on one side of the car body arranged in a square. So just pop four screws through those holes and then attach the standoffs on the other side. The small screws may come in two different sizes, but the size that you choose doesn't matter. You'll wind up using all of them anyway. Now that you've attached the standoffs, we can move on to the actual caster wheel itself. So just use the four remaining screws to affix it to the standoffs. Okay, now we can attach the actual wheels. So, be careful when you're aligning these with the axle. They have a little notch on the inside. Um, you're going to need to push it all the way in. The yellow plastic should essentially be touching the motor body. If it's too hard to actually push it on, you can use a knife like this to scrape away some of the interior and make it a little easier. It's definitely better to scrape away some of the interior of the wheel than it is to break your motors. So definitely recommend doing this. Then, after you've finished everything else, you can use the Velcro to attach your breadboard to the car itself. And then you're done.